I'm here in Mincing Lake Valley Park, um, which is managed by Devon Wildlife Trust, and I'm doing a bit of the section, a little section of the green circle that's um, so valued in our city. And it's just great to be out here in nature, um, just you know, admiring the green spaces that we have. We're so lucky to have an Exeter and have a little bit of exercise as well. It's about 12, 13 mile route that runs around Exeter. It's quite a long route, but you don't have to do all of it. You can download an app called Go Jauntly, um, and that app allows you to follow a route if you're not sure where the green circle is. And there's these little stickers that you can find all around the city that show you where the green circle is. I think it's great for your physical and mental well-being. Um, walking's just a really low intensity exercise that everyone um, can get can get involved with, you know, whether it's walking your dog down the park or just going for a, a break from working at home and having a little walk around the block. Um, it's something that's, you know, definitely going to be good for our, our physical and mental health. You know, we shouldn't really be sitting sedentary all day, so just getting out and about and doing a little bit of walking every day will be, yeah, do wonders for your mental and physical health. There's Mincing Lake Valley Park and there's yeah, several other valley parks across um, Exeter that are managed by uh, Devon Wildlife Trust and um, Live and Move are doing great work to get more people active and get more people um, into those spaces, you know, walking, cycling um, and being active. Um, we've got some great community physical activity organisers across the city who are um, you know, hosting walks themselves and, and getting people involved. You can connect with your local community uh, physical activity organiser and see what, what activities they've got coming up and get involved that way. Just, you know, it's trying to reach people who want to be more active, but maybe they've got a bit of anxiety for doing, you know, doing it on their own or they're just not sure where to start and I'd really encourage them to get involved that way. One of the main things we're trying to do at the moment is to understand what the green circle means to people that live in and around it um, and how they can build uh, a sense of pride and place of, of the extra green circle. Um, it's such a fantastic area for, for people to use, to come to, to explore um, and we want to try and help encourage more people to do it. Um, so through that we're working with a couple of organisations at the moment um, to try and help build that affinity and that connection. Um, and then we're also looking at the infrastructure, so trying to encourage uh, more people to use it by setting up good park, parks, um, good walkways, signage, and looking at the maintenance as well. In some ways, lockdown was was, a, was quite a big catalyst for people just exploring their, their hyper-local areas and, and just spending time in that. I mean, we, we, we often look at walks as, as a natural journey, but we can spend time um, in, in engaging with nature, and I think there's, there's, there's massive kind of well-being um, as well, mental benefits that come as well as physical benefits. So, um, yeah, just kind of exploring that and taking note of you know, the sounds, the smells, the senses around you, I think can be really, really important for people to kind of reconnect with nature and it can kind of almost recalibrate your, your system sometimes when you're just stuck at home or in the office. Um, so it's quite a good place for people to come and relax and enjoy nature as well.